Hello and welcome back to Beard Bites. This is video two in a series where I will be going through the OSEP 201 Starter Kit series and building the projects that come in the tutorial book with the provided components. In this video, we'll look at setting up the Arduino environment, getting the Blink program running on your Arduino device, as well as downloading the OSEP project code and getting it into the Arduino program. So let's first start by going to Arduino's website. You can find the link in the description and we'll click on the Windows installer. Once here you'll see a page where you can contribute to the Arduino software. This is a good thought but I'm going to download for the time being as I have already contributed in the past. Now you just wait for it to download and this can take a minute or two. Okay, now that our program is downloaded, let's run the installer. Agree to the license and terms if you agree to them. You should always read through these. Choose the components you wish to install. I'm just going to go with the default options. I'm going to go with the default folder. I'm going to choose to install the USB driver. I'm going to do the same again. And I'm going to close the setup. Now let's look at setting up the Arduino device in order to use it with the Blink program. Okay, so now we're going to set up the Arduino board uh, for its first program, the Blink program. This is just kind of a good way to test the initial setup to see if everything's working correctly. So for this, you're going to need three things. You're going to need a USB cable, an LED, and your OSEP Arduino board. Let's take the LED. You'll notice that there's two prongs and that on there, one of the prongs is longer than the other one. You're going to take the shorter prong and plug it into the ground and the longer prong into slot 13 on the Arduino board. We're then going to take our USB cable, plug it into the Arduino, then once we have completed that, we will take the cable and plug it into the computer. You'll see a series of lights go off. That's just the Arduino booting and you'll see the green on LED on the board. Okay, let's head back over to our computer and let's open up the Arduino program that we downloaded previously. Once you have the program open, you're going to want to go to File, Examples, 01.basics, and click Blink. It'll open up another window and once you're here, you're going to want to go to the tools and you want to choose your port in which in my case it's COM3. Once you have chosen the port, you're going to want to load the program and you'll see that it's compiling and now that it's done. With any luck, our Arduino should be executing the Blink program that we just uploaded to it. As you can see here, the Arduino is successfully executing the sketch we uploaded to it. Okay, the next thing we're going to want to do is download the project code files from OSEP's website. This will allow us to easily move throughout the tutorials. You can find the link in the description. Let's start by opening up the Arduino program and seeing what they offer us. Go to File, and under Sketchbook, you can see that there's nothing there. But if we go to the examples, you can see a whole slew of options that came pre-bundled when we downloaded the program. Now, there's a number of ways you can do this, but I'm going to extract the files that we download from OSEP 
and place them in the sketchbook folder because there's nothing there and that will allow me to more easily access them as I move through the tutorials. So let's look at the folder, right click, extract all. You can choose any folder you want and once you're done, you can open up the folder that you've extracted them to and you'll see two other folders, one saying Mac OS X and another saying OSEP underscore 201K. Since I am using a Windows based machine, I'm going to use the OSEP underscore 201K. Now you'll want to navigate to documents, Arduino, and you'll see a libraries folder. You're going to just want to copy or move the OSEP underscore 201K to this location. Once you have done that, open up the Arduino program, go to File, Sketchbook, and you can now see OSEP 201K and all the project code files. Okay, that's it for this video. You have now set up your Arduino environment to successfully move throughout the tutorials in the OSEP Starter Kit book. In the next video, we'll be looking at our first project, the temperature sensor. Thank you. See you in the next video.